When I first looked at the collection of modern lenses produced by Meyer Optic Gorlitz, I wasn't really interested to the lead it uh, 30mm f3.5 because that lens looks a bit slow compared to the modern lenses we are seeing now in the market. And I was wrong because this lens is actually very very interesting. Let's start to talk about what I like in this lens. First of all, on full frame, this 30mm lens is wide enough. If you are used to film or take photos with a 28mm prime lens, with this 30mm you will be pretty close to that nice wide-angle perspective. If you are not so sure about what lens to take between this 30mm and the Triuplum 35mm f2.8, most of the time when you want to go wide, you want to go as wide as possible, and that's why I consider the 30mm a better buy over the 35 If you are starting now to build a set of these Meyer Optic lenses, just with the 30mm, 58mm and 75mm, you will be well covered with a nice range of focal lengths. But of course, if you have the space and the money to add the 35mm f2.8, that will be nice too. Even if this lens is only f3.5, the light transmission is actually pretty good. During my last trip in London, I was uh, really surprised to see that this lens was able to capture very nice photos even during night time. Because in reality I was a bit afraid that f3.5 wasn't fast enough, but because this lens has a pretty good light transmission, I didn't really have to increase the ISO value that much, so I was able to capture pretty nice photos and videos even during night time. The third characteristic that I really love about this lens is about the size and weight, because it is extremely small and portable, because this lens is sharing the same size and weight as the 35mm f2.8, 58mm f1.9 and 75mm f1.9. And last but not least, I really love the character of this lens. I feel like it has a much more interesting bokeh and flares when compared to other wide-angle lenses I've used in the past. Honestly, I feel like this is the perfect match for everyone that likes the unsharp corners with an hint of swirl on a wide-angle lens. So I think this is a perfect match if you like to use uh, the Helios or the Biotar and all the Primopan lenses. Talking about sharpness, this lens is pretty sharp wide open at f3.5 if you focus close to the subject, but once you start to reach 2 meters distance between you and the subject, the sharpness is sort of okay and it will perform better if you stop down the lens to f4.5. While talking about corner sharpness, this lens will never reach an incredible level of details even if you stop down the lens. Talking about chromatic aberrations, this lens shows quite a bit of blue fringing wide open at f3.5, but they will disappear at f4. And it's the same story for the longitudinal chromatic aberrations. In conclusion, I consider this Meyer Optic 30mm f3.5 a great addition to my kit, because this lens will help me to capture very interesting images with a nice wide perspective. And I hope that all the images and sample videos I shared in this video are going to be helpful to let you understand if this is a lens for you. And if you have found this video helpful, I will really appreciate a like and subscribe to show your support to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!